Mm. As long as I'm going to be in charge here, let me examine my so-called crew, if it can so be called. First of all, Dr. Zoidberg, do you even have a medical degree? I lost it in a volcano. And why do we need a bending robot around here anyway? What possible use do we have for you? Uh, me no speak the English. And why does our space pilot have only one eye? There's someone I'd like you to meet. His name is Depth Perception. <laughs> why, you little... Wow, that hurt. The air. Him pending para un bending. Oh, Cubert, come in here. I have something amazing to show you. What is it? A competent employee? I doubt that very much. <laughs> Twerp. Ay, Chihuahua! Cubert, as my successor, I'm trusting you to carry on my work. These are just some of the half-finished inventions you'll spend your life finishing. I didn't realize you were the inventor of the junk heap. That's my prize-winning smelloscope. If a dog craps anywhere in the universe, you can bet I won't be out of the loop. And this is my universal translator. Unfortunately, so far, it only translates into an incomprehensible dead language. Hello. Bonjour. Crazy gibberish. Don't you have any worthwhile inventions? Why, certainly. Step over here. These are the dark matter engines I invented. They allow my starship to travel between galaxies in mere hours. That's impossible. You can't go faster than the speed of light. Of course not. That's why scientists increase the speed of light in 2208. Also impossible. And what makes my engines truly remarkable is the afterburner, which delivers 200% fuel efficiency. Well, that's especially impossible. Not at all. It's very simple. Then explain it. Now that's impossible. It came to me in a dream, and I forgot it in another dream. Your explanations are pure weapons-grade balonium. It's all impossible. Nothing is impossible. Not if you can imagine it. That's what being a scientist is all about. No, that's what being a magical elf is all about.